So it starts out with this crackhead scrap back up to his old shenanigans. Bro's ready to crash out at any moment's notice about some acorns. Bro doesn't care who it is, he will literally 1v1 Jesus. You can say what you want about crackheads, but them niggas is shoulder determined. But in the middle of trying to get his fix in, he spots a shorty along the way. He starts ducking behind a tree doing his best Joe impression. Stalk game is OP. Bro has no clue how to act around shorties. The only time he talks to a girl is when he puts a wig on his acorn. Cause lord knows if he tried to spit game, he'd be stuttering more than Waterboy. Mom, mama said, my mama Mama said, Mama said that. Shorty seeing this knew she had a prime opportunity because simps like this are a gold mine. She burst one tear out and he immediately handed that acorn over. That's his one weakness. Bro's like Batman. He sees one shorty and starts spewing out secret identities. But it turns out she set him up. He was stealing too many acorns so the squirrels put out a hit on him. And she must be the Baba Yaga because best believe she's finishing the job. Then we see Manny's tweaking out thinking he finna have a baby. But Ellie said it was just a kick. It turns out Manny's been tweaking like this over and over again. Bro's got trauma. He still hurt from when he had to give up son son. Don't forget about us. We won't forget about you. We check in on Diego and bro's been going through a midlife crisis. He's been looking in the mirror barking trying to see if he still got that dog in him. And after further research I can confirm, he definitely does not. Diego ran for 10 seconds and now he can't even breathe. Bro the fall off is real, bro's putting up Roddy Rich numbers. Because look at how the deer is prancing around him, he done gassed him up. I know Soto was turning in his grave. Diego's disrespecting every saber tooth's name. Leave, leave your ring! I got this last Leave your ring! He gets back into town walking in like Spongebob, causing Manny to check on him. Diego starts blabbling about how he needs to get back to his old instincts. Diego's talking about he feels safe around that hood shit. Why does Diego want to be in the trenches so bad? Because after rewatching the first Ice Age, I see you were literally that pack's weakest link. Who do you think you are? You're, You're not, not that, that guy. guy. But he still decides to leave. He says bye to the herd and leaves my man Sid all alone. But that was the worst decision possible. Because when Sid gets too much alone time, bro will single-handedly start an extinction level event. Sid was a grade A student in what dick headistry but you still wouldn't believe what he decides to do bro starts becoming a father to some dinosaurs is this nigga serious after seeing this i immediately got on call with dcf because we, we will, will not have it. it like look bro's literally raising nothing but bullies they're pressing every kid in here for their lunch money nobody's getting their chocolate milk never mind that they ain't looking for money these kids are the lunch jesus christ thank god for manny stopping this nonsense he tells sid to take those damn kids back but sid starts talking about i'm not getting rid of my kids the mommy dino must have heard that and came to set the record straight sid starts skedaddling leaving everybody else to deal with his bullshit to be honest everybody here is lucky that all this dino wanted was her kids because she would have had more leftovers in thanksgiving she had my boy manny shook this comes as a surprise to me because i used to think manny was a big stepper but hey becoming a father changes a man just look at thanos the mommy dino finds sid and the kids and they get into a whole argument leading her to taking everybody now the gang has to go on a new adventure straight into the underworld because i'm telling y'all everything in here sees them as straight lunch these dinos thought they opened up a new chick-fil-a so of course this dino gets right to ordering because you already know the customer service is impeccable bro start calling out them my germs but the herd starts running for their lives diego here in danger came in thinking he was in his element and immediately got shown he's not but they end up sliding out that jam right into another one but buck comes in saving them from being turned into a family cookout bro comes in talking that shit stop playing don't slap any nigga over here stay Who? home but lord knows he was lying he threw some smoke bombs in and told everybody to run the herd starts realizing they put themselves in another sticky situation they meet buck and start realizing how much of a tweaker he is bro's on a 365 day streak of taking perks he starts shouting out if his chin hair moved boy he killing him somebody that would have been my cue it's time to dip this nigga is crazy buck's trying to tell him that the jungle is not what they want but manny tells buck stop doing all that rah-rah it's actually hilarious that manny would say that because in the next scene a nigga is running their pockets and buck has to come save them once again after this experience they start trying to beg buck to help them find sid because they wasn't gonna last another minute here but as they keep following buck they realize how actually insane he is he starts having a full conversation with a rock acting like he's on the phone with a baddie knowing damn well his phone has said zero notifications for years even scammers aren't fucking with this nigga diego starts talking to buck straight glazing talking about oh you hard like that you in here solo dolo manny walks up hearing this soul taking meat writing session diego was giving and tells him to hop off 
off. It's kids watching this movie. Sid and his baby mom start beefing over what to feed the kids. He brought out one piece of broccoli to feed an entire family. Bro, what are you on? The mommy Dinah was done putting up with his bullshit. She was gonna have bro stuff out by the morning. Never mind. I'm sorry, Sid. I wasn't familiar with your game. They were literally coloring the same night. Buck starts telling his story about how he escaped Rudy. Everybody's eating all this bullshit up. They was gonna be passing this story down to their kids. It was gonna be generations worth of cap. They start glazing them, calling them all types of names. Low weasel. <laughs> Goat Weasel, mm. Super Weasel, mm. my god damn, you can't even watch a movie without legendary levels of dick riding, but this is when the whole mood of the movie changed, it's time to tighten up, Rudy must have heard Buck doing all that capping, he let out a roar that got everybody in the jungle ducking and hiding, but Buck's hitting a mean grin, like this is what he wanted, bros instigating his top one, he will not make a song without dissing the ops, they continue on their journey to find Sid, but the baby starts coming at the worst time, because these dinos smelled IHOP, the rocks fall leaving Ellie alone, and now the gang has to find a way to get up to her. They have to split up to save Ellie and find Sid. With the baby and her mother's life on the line, Diego starts collapsing worse than Lamar in the playoffs. <laughs> this thing is trash. But something awoke in him. He must have grabbed one of them perks right off Buck. Diego saves Ellie from the dino and he starts gassing himself up. Like, bro, I don't know if you know this, but they're jumping Manny. Go help him. But just as he's about to go help Manny, he looks down and sees they're jumping him too. They were studying the Avengers extensively. There will never be a 1v1. But Manny's not going. He's 2018 Thanos, straight jump resistant. But Diego, not so much. Manny helps him out and puts an end to the dinosaurs. Now we check in on Sid, and his BM finally had enough of his ass. She dropped him right off on a rock while he's trying to gather himself he looks up seeing his chance to see tupac live and rudy had the taste for a morning snack so sid starts running to save his life he ends up in lava but here come buck and his personal meat riders to save the day as they try to save sid professional haters start spawning they're literally working as a unit with one goal in mind to stop niggas from winning it's full-on warfare now when crash and eddie get home they will be completely changed that ptsd gonna have them boys out their body one of the birds finally get them and now they're falling to their deaths but you already guessed it buck has to say them once again bros literally carried this whole movie they save sid and when they bring him back the baby gets born they start trying to leave but rudy says i don't think you heard me right i said i'm hungry savage whatever i want to get whatever i want i have to get He's still mad about Buck's diss track. This ain't about rap no more. Now he got Buck running for his life. This can't be the same Buck that was smiling when he heard him roar. Cause it looks like you're shaking in your boots. Right as Buck's about to get spent on, Diego comes in to save him. Rudy takes this as disrespect. Now the whole herd is an op. They work together to get Rudy down. And now Buck wants to start talking shit. I see what you did there, Buck, but I see right through it. But of course, you already know Sid was gonna find a way to mess it up. After Rudy gets up, he's about to get Sid, but his baby mama comes in saving the day. He says goodbye to his family and gets out that situation clean. No child support or nothing. Sid's the perfect example of how not to be a father. They invite Buck to come with them home. He almost does, but when he hears Rudy still roar, it just don't sit right with him. Buck won't stop spinning till the sun comes up. Like the video if you like the video, and let me know what your favorite Ice Age movie is in the comments. Appreciate y'all. I'm out. I'm a course I gotta push my, my. opinion on the desk when you walk past. Oh, bro, that shit groovy. <laughs>